So we got too many black women and black children coming up missing these days. Time for a safety check. Ladies, if you see these kind of vehicles parked, do not park next to them and definitely don't park in between them. Also, if you're moving or having to shop, shop during the day. Try to avoid going to major mall places in the evening or at night when it gets dark. So if you come out of a shopping area at night and you're wedged in between two vehicles like that, if you have an SUV, try to go through the trunk of the vehicle to get to the driver's seat. If you have to enter through the driver's side door, get your mace or get you a weapon out because what they do is they jump out of those vehicles and hit you with a syringe to make you pass out. Also, if you see little cards and things like that on your windshield, avoid grabbing them. Many of those have a powder substance on them that seep into your skin, make you pass out. Also, if you get hit from behind, don't stop. That's another the way that they use to get you out of the car to kidnap all right guys i'm gonna make this quick short sweet and to the point y'all know me i don't really do this but um this is important this is necessary um this whole human trafficking sex trafficking thing is not a game it's not a joke it's real all right so I need you guys to take it seriously um just sent out a bunch of uh, videos and emails to the females in my life my aunts my sisters, my daughters, my nieces. Um, take this stuff seriously, guys. Um, don't go anywhere, this, especially this holiday season. Don't go anywhere by yourself. Uh, whatever shopping you got to do, let's try to get it done during the day because um, a lot of what these people are doing, they're doing at night. And they're doing, once they get you, they got you. You might as well be on the moon. It ain't nothing that law enforcement can do when we don't know where you're at won't have a clue as to where you're at or how to find you. So you've got to take this seriously. Um, I know a lot of us, especially Christians right now, um, we get hemmed up in a lot of these situations because all we do is pray. And don't misunderstand me. I don't have a problem with prayer. I believe in prayer. Um, the Bible says watch and pray. A lot of times we get caught because you're on your knees with your head down and your eyes closed. You can't see nothing that way nothing wrong with praying but i mean you can pray with your eyes open and you can pray standing up you can pray in a posture ready to defend yourself and in this scenario with what's going on with this whole human trafficking and sex trafficking stuff you got to be prepared to defend yourself those of you that don't want to carry a firearm go and get yourself a can of mace go and get yourself a flashlight taser go get something that you can use to defend yourself this is serious guys it's not a game um this is this is a different jay talking to you right now all right so do what you got to do to protect yourself please because most of the men i know please help keep us out of jail because God forbid if something happens to the females in our lives and we ever find out who did it, we're going to jail. All right? Help us stay out of jail. This message was brought to you by Lisa's Floral Expression, The Marketplace, The Craft House, The Pottsville Pub Inn, and Myrtle Mays Cafe.